What's up ladies and gentlemen, and in this video, um, I'll be doing something quite new, it's called Behind the Canvas, and basically I'm going to look at uh, works of art and giving a little discussion on uh, its, you know, how it came to be. And in this video, we'll be looking at uh, Madame X by John Singer Sargent. Um, let's go. John Singer Sargent, born in 1856 in Florence from American parents, was one of the leading portrait painters of the late 19th century, a period known as the Gilded Age. He trained in Paris and quickly became a popular portrait painter of the glamorous rich upper classes. One of the upper class was a woman called Virginie Gruteau, an American who married a French banker called Pierre Gruteau. Sargent wanted to paint her to further his career. Gruteau is portrayed standing in a low-cut black gown, with her body facing towards the viewer, but her head turned to her left. Ever so conscious of her looks, she would use lavender skin powder, and this colour appears in the delicate skin tone Sargent painted. Her light skin stands out against the black dress and brown background. While he was showing off the portrait, Sargent called the painting Madame X in a vain attempt to keep the woman's true identity a secret, but to no avail as her face was already well known to the public. Contrary to his expectations that critics would see reference to more classical paintings from the Renaissance period, the painting caused a scandal. The gown was considered too revealing and even Gruteau's mother asked Sargent to withdraw it from the exhibition, a request he declined. He did repaint the shoulder afterwards, however, with the strap in a more decorous position, perhaps an attempt to regain his standing with the critics. I say screw the critics personally, but that's just my, this is my opinion. The outcry over Madame X probably influenced Sargent's decision to move to London thereafter, where he continued his successful career as a portrait artist, creating lasting images of the wealth and beauty of the upper classes. His virtuosity and skill with the brush were sometimes seen as referring back to the old masters of the past, rather than contemporary painting. Admiration for Sargent's, for Sargent's work has grown over time. Madame X remains his most famous work, however. I personally prefer Carnation Lily Rose myself, but that's just me. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.